Hey folks, it's me, Zeta Viker. Welcome back to Z Something Awesome Deliverance. This is a game by Fig Hunter and uh, Sudo Lone Wolf himself. As you can see, it's very similar. And you can see this I has a Y in it, which stands for some crazy stuff. Let's go. Deliverance, Chapter 1 a he To Heal a God. Let's go to New Game. This game allows you to play a customized character, which you must create now. Choose carefully though, as you can't change most of these things later on. If you don't know what something means, try holding the E key. Click next to continue. First, you must select your gender. You can be either male or female. This only affects your appearance, not your stats. Both genders are equally capable. Male. Oh. <clears throat> Both genders look equally shocking and inaccurate. Your gender won't affect any stats, but it will affect your appearance. I mean, it'd be stupid if I gave you the option of choosing your gender, then make girls look like guys, and the other way around. That'd be really weird. Anyway, like, really weird. But hey, I know of another Flash RPG that did that. Hey, shh, we're not talking about that RPG. <clears throat> oh my god, look at this. Look at him. Doesn't he look like someone familiar? Let's go to set two. Hey, he looks like someone familiar. Set three, you look familiar too. You do not look familiar. You look interesting. Oh my gosh, who does he look like? Oh wow. Okay, you need to stop that. Face 8, face 9, face 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, whatever. We're gonna go with this one. Oh, okay, I'm gonna reroll for some stats. Stats, strength. It affects how much damage you do. Vitality is how much HP you have. It's surprising you set this above 10, especially if this is your first time playing this game. Spirit is how much MP you have. Agility is <clears throat> uh, combat order and um, accuracy innovation. Is there more? Nope, that's it on this page. Let's roll for stats. This is like D&D, and I know what good stats look like. Holy... Oh, that's bad. That's not bad either. Only four. <clears throat> Some stats going to try to get me 15s. This is D&D, &D, and I'd like to roll for some good stats. Let's we roll more. This music is obviously made by Sid Lone Wolf because it's really good. That's not bad. That's not amazing. That's that's really bad. Hmm. This might take some time. <clears throat> Ugh. That's all. Stop giving me crazy rolls. Ah, oh, fine, whatever. This is close enough, I guess. This is close as it's gonna get. Um, I will like to be light, please. Kiri, Kurnan. Who's Kurnan? Give me information about my name. For some reason, you didn't put your name last. So go on. You can't change it later on. And um, some sort of retarded parents will call this child something like six 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 dark messenger two messengers. Uh, 54366. Anyway, <clears throat> we shall call him. Ha ha ha! Look at him. Isn't he happy? Let's play. <clears throat> I bet you he's really happy. He's really happy. <clears throat> Behold the spaceship floating around Earth. <clears throat> Marauder, this is my quarters. Let's walk around. Can I interact with stuff? This is your replicator, a wanderer's machine designed to create food from thin air. It doesn't work though, it's been broken for a while, and nobody's really gone into fixing it. All the food it makes now tastes like cardboard. When you ask it to make cardboard, however, it creates a delicious little truffle cake that tastes like heaven. Since heaven is it's, isn't a nice place, as people believe though, a diet of such truffle cakes would be entirely nutritionally satisfactory or remotely pleasurable. So you usually go with the cafeteria to eat every day, like most of the rest of the crew. Ha 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 ha. So, I played a little bit of this game. I want this. Give me the Pulsar Cell. Pulsar Cell. Let's go to this door. Oh, wow. Ah, the Forge Room. Hey, Marek. You can use this Forge Room here. Now make nifty weapons or new... Oh, sorry. New or modified disabled old ones. Nifty. Or what, eh? If you can find another power set for your blaster, or maybe use some gems, you can modify... Okay, you know what? We need to turn down that sound. Sorry. It's killing my thing. <clears throat> you can rename weapons too, which is nice. I call my plaster Eric. Say hello, Eric. Or you can look at the view at the windows. Oh, space. This is a forge. You can use a symbol or just assemble weapons. Let's assemble our oh, shoot. I gotta unequip my weapon. Let's go to inventory. 
Look at our inventory. This was a weapon. Blaster. Made by Sirius Corporation. Standard Blaster. That is not our name. Wow, that gave me 99 points of damage. Let's go back. Let's go our stats. I am Marduk. I have a space uniform and a shield bracer. And I am pretty resistant to stuff. Mine is, um, dark. I like having resistances, that's why I went with light. So that I can be resistant to most things and not dark. Let's go back. Let's go into Forge. Forge Blaster. I want this gem. Give it to me. And... Changing blaster stand. Laser colors. Laser color. And then, um, we're gonna name our, we're gonna rename our weapon to be the, there we go, we're hopefulizer. We're hopefulizer. I hope you are happy with your new, new colors. Oh, sorry. Thank, got my gun. Let's re-equip the we're hopefulizer, which is now there you go. Damage 1 to 200! Isn't that awesome? Let's go. Well, let's save. Because, no, you saw nothing. Save over right. <clears throat> none, of, none of you saw those things. Oh, wait. This isn't a door. It's actually a wall painted to look like a door. How misleading! I I hate doors like that. Hey, Marduk. We finally arrived at the planet you were asleep. Uh, what? So why didn't anyone wake me up? Uh, good question. Why didn't anyone wake you up? Someone should have, really, since I know you really wanted to see it and all. But anyway, though, you should go to the bridge to see your dad. I mean, uh, the captain. Yes, to see your dad. The captain. Because the captain's your dad, you see. And, uh, uh, go see the captain. Yes, I will go see the captain after I explore the map. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, this door piece is locked tight. We need a specific key to open it. What is here? The Emperor's Chamber. Oh, hi there, Marduk. The Emperor really fascinates you, doesn't he? It's no surprise, though. Even though he's in his tube here, he's still magnificent to behold. He seems to ooze power. Oh, how I wait the day when we can be arrived and we can all taste freedom and new life. But alas, I'm making no progress whatsoever in developing your cure. Cryogenically frozen inside this tube is the Emperor, the last ruler of the planet of your race is from. <clears throat> he is said to have some sort of magical disease. You aren't sure what about the specifications exactly, but the scientists are which would kill him if he were to be defrosted. Nobody is sure of how why the Emperor was afflicted with this disease, but everyone knows that it is coin coincided with the destruction of the world which he ruled over. This is probably because of the power alone which kept the world intact. After all, his magical power was immense, almost inconceivably so. He was also a god. He was certainly worshipped. And now here he is in this tube. La 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 la. <clears throat> the, how the mighty have fallen into tubes. <clears throat> Whoa! Sick bay! You're not sick or injured, Marduk, so there's not much I can do for you. Oh, I'm so sick! Damn that swamp world and its varroid inhabitants! Damn them all! <coughs> <coughs> Healing crystal! The ceiling, wash the ceiling light washes over you and your party. Hey, that sounds. This all looks so familiar! I don't know what game this is, guys. I do not know what game this is. This is so familiar. This is transporter. This is transporter's over. Let's go for the cafeteria! <clears throat> Cafeteria! Oh. oh, hello, Marduk. Should you not be on the bridge, gawking out the planet we arrived and claiming that's where we'll find some magic? Cure? For the R Emperor? Um, yes, I probably should, shouldn't I? I'll go now. Yes, yes, you go and do that. We've arrived at yet another planet. I don't see why everyone's getting so excited. Every other planet we've been at, too, hasn't had what we wanted. And what we want is probably not just out there. I don't think a magic cure for the Emperor exists. Then we thought of one existing is silly, anyway. People! Ladies. I hope we get to down to this planet sometime. I mean, I hope. It isn't terribly full of response to tough monsters like some of those other ones. Or diseases like that from that swamp world we visited last. Now that was not pleasant. <clears throat> Marduk, isn't this great? Now that we've arrived at this planet, we can revive the Emperor with a cure and you said we'd find down there. Yay! That's right. We'll surely find the cure down there. Yay again! I can't wait to find the Revive the Emperor and actually start living on our own planet for a change. Hey Marduk, you're going to the Reconnex Suspicion to the planet, aren't you? Shouldn't you be, like, seeing your dad about that now? Go down to the bridge! Ah, eventually. Slow down, woman. This hairstyle is trendy and cool. Everyone has it. Well, most people, anyway. The guys, at least. Girls have that bluish hair, which is also trendy and cool. Kara and Killian are the only ones with only exceptions. The unique characters make me feel like an unimportant background character. Also, I'm still smiling! 
Smile on, friend. Smile on. Dude, I think it's, like, real dumb that we're going to this planet just because you, like, sensed there was some, like, thing down there. Because that's, like, real dumb, dude. Uh, you're a jerk. Otherwise, this guy's, this guy's more of a joke. Oh, hello, Mike. Should you not be on the bridge? Go at the planet we arrived at. Blah, 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 blah. You don't think there's a cure down there, do you? As one of those scientists assigned to maintenance and analysis of the Emperor's condition, I never believed that there was some magic cure anywhere at all. The notion of what is this surely is existing solely to cure this condition is absurd. That's not what I said. I would not want there to be such a thing. I want the Emperor to be revived as much as anyone else. But I, unlike anyone else, don't blind my vision with hope and lies. You believe in some sort of cure, if it'll make you happy in just some way. Just don't get your hopes up too high, especially about this particular planet. Wow, you're a jerk. I don't... I don't like you, and I don't like your voice. Because it's hard to do. <clears throat> oh, hello, Lamar. We were right on the planet, at least. Uh, did you see it last? You said you were pretty good to take some sort of... Um, something down there that would help us revive the Emperor. You weren't lying, were you? And we'll revive him soon, right? Okay, so... I'm deciding upon if I want to go and re-record those sections and segments with female voice actings, but we will see. We will see. I may or may not. We'll find out. Haha, -ha, knowing our luck. That's right. We don't know anything about this planet, except that there's life on there, and lots of it. So much to do, so much to, do, so much to maintain. It's always like this when you reach a new world. So, a break for the Dominati is always good. Ooh, I like the look of this planet. It's always imaginative that the planet that people look like where we're from. Ha ha ha. Ah, there you are, my boy. It's about bloody time you got up. Uh, sorry. Nobody woke me up and I didn't have an alarm clock. Well, that's those gifts we're slipping in. Uh, sure it is. Oh, huh, wait. I like clicking these here. Sure it is. I should click these more often. You can also push the numbers to, um, navigate dialogue, but I should probably click more often because it's more entertaining. It didn't stop anyone else from waking up promptly, though, did it? Ah? Uh? They probably have alarm clocks. Oh, we're working up. Well, that may be so, but you're here now, so that's all that matters. Aren't you going to ask if I have a mission for you right now? Ha ha ha! You have a mission for me now, right? Well, yes, I do, and it's going to be your first proper mission ever, too, won't it, my boy? You won't even know what to do. Sure, I will. Yeah, that's why you should probably tell me. Sure, I will. No, knowing you, I'm pretty sure you'll just pretend to do what you're doing, and you'll bugger everything up, so I'll tell you anyway. This mission that you'll be going on is basically Rikani. Rikani sus. When you gather information about the planet, it's simple. All you have to do is make sure the things on the planet won't kill us all if we go down there. And if anything try to kill me? What about the cure and this thing I detected? Let's go. Why don't they try to kill me? Well, you'll be armed, of course. To you'll be able to dispatch any monsters that attack you with ease. Um, then what's the point about this mission? Sending a small party down first to check things is not more. It's more sensible than sending everyone down to possibly hostile territory without knowing what's there. What silly questions you ask, my boy? What about the cure and this thing I detected? Ah, yes, you'll be checking that out too, which makes this mission special, so you better not bugger it up. You said you could detect something on this planet from light years away, and you believed it had something to do with reviving the Emperor. The scans of the planet have put in an area of exceptional energy output, which is rather odd considering there's not even a class 1 civilization down there yet. You and your party will be beamed down toward the source of energy, because we expect you to have a look at it. You can't expect to go on about some mysterious force you can feel, and then check it out when we actually find it. But I don't want to die! My, my party? My party. So, I won't be going alone? So I should go right now, right? Let's go with, I don't want to die. Ha, ha, ha. Nobody wants to die, of course. But I assure you, my boy, that they won't die in this mission. You'll be equipped with gadgets that will prevent that. Those gadgets did nothing to help Mother. No, that, that's right. They couldn't have helped against the things we came across then. But I, but don't dwell on that, my boy. I'm certain you'll do fine. You say party for? I won't, go, I won't be going down alone? I won't be going alone? Don't be silly. Of course you're not going alone. That would have been very sensible now, would it? Maybe going with two other people. I pick Kara and Killian go with you. Quill, Quillian, Quillan, whatever. Quillan. I'm going with Quillian because it sounds hilarious. No, it's probably Quillan. It is probably Quillan. I'm going to say Quillian. Kara, because she's just finished her training and hasn't been on a mission before. And she's about your age, so you two should get along well. And Quillian, Quillan, Quillan, because he's our best scientist and might be of use, some use out there. Kara's coming in with me? Oh, yeah. Ha ha ha. I understand, I understand your enthusiasm. Kara is a rather attractive young woman, if I do say so myself. Ha, ah, the boys will be boys. Just remember that you'll be doing together is serious work, so be behave accordingly. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Killian, Quillian, Quillian won't, Quillan won't want to come. Yes, I know he doesn't believe in the cure exists at all, and has been continually criticizing you about the energy you could detect. 
But if you do find something on there, and you think you, and you, and I do think that you will, then you can go about it to his face then, right? Ha ha ha. Of course, he's also a, mag a magnificent scientist, so his skills may come in handy, whatever his skills are. So I should go now, right? Ah, Kara's coming with me! She's cute. So, yes. Though we don't exactly have a set schedule here, and it's no deadline. I'd better be following you to get to his mission over and done with as hasty as possible. Then we can go go and stretch your legs on a real ground and breathe real air for a change. Go to the transporter room now. You find Kara and Quillion. Quillon, they're waiting, and since they're the letter joining the blah, 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 blah. Scott! <laughs> his name is Scott! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't wait for this. My favorite my favorite line of the game. I will I I, I don't actually it's not really in the game, but I, I like to say it. I like to say the line. Also, the mouse does not disappear in this game, so it'll be on the screen. Sorry, guys. Bardock, we're going to the mission together. Isn't that just amazingly great? Whoa! It certainly is. Let's talk more joining my party. <clears throat> I know we don't know each other at all, but because like we because we like hang around the different people and stuff. But well, I'm so sort of excited that we'll be going together, Bardock. And I'm also really excited because it's my first mission too. My first mission ever. I just hope it goes well. Don't worry, I'm sure we will. There's a chance we could die. Don't worry, baby. You'll be safe with me. Nah, don't worry. I'm sure we will. Here's something, anyway. Since, no, since you, since you say it'll be okay, I know it will. So yay to that. But anyway, I suppose we should like stop standing around chatting and get on with the mission, shouldn't we? I'm gonna join your party now. But first, I need to give you some med packs and grenades. I brought them along for. Wow, got grenade X10. I brought them along for us to use, but just in case we need them, I don't know what we're saying. After all, I'll give you them to look after because you're the leader. Hey, yeah, you're the leader, Murder. But anyway, I'm gonna join you now. Let's go! Oh, hello, Murder. Apparently, I'll be accompanying you on this particular mission, which will be interesting considering that it is your first. And what it, and what it is that we are supposed to be looking for. When we get down there, I will show you I was right all along. We'll see about that. There's no time for idle chit chat now, though, so we best actually get along with the mission. Since you've been appointed leader of this party, I shall join you now. But before that, I've ordered—I've been ordered to give you this virtual map. What does it do? It's a high-tech gadget that allows you to see the layout of the current area and the details it draws on the map. Does leave much to the imagination, and it's still a highly useful tool. You can use it by selecting map from the menu. But now, come on, we're wasting valuable mission time, and I want to get over this as soon as possible. Ha! Huh. Scott! Ugh! Step on the teleporter and I'll beam you down, lad! It's the second one from the left! Scott! Beam me down! Yeah! Woo! Hmm. This is a type A planet. Green vegetation, blue sky. Although we can hardly see it with that dense forest canopy in the wind. Modern temperature. There is not acid or fire. The air is not acid or fire! But of course, I already knew all that, as I've been studying the plant's properties from the ship for a number of hours. Okay, now that we're here, um, what are we supposed to do? When do we get to the action? First of all, don't ever- don't call me Quilly ever again. It's unbefitting. Sorry, Quilly. Next of all, since neither of you ensigns have never been on an official reconnaissance mission until today, I can assume that you're both utterly clueless as to the procedures. I do not see anyone going out of the way to learn them beforehand, after all. Therefore, I shall tell you what we must do. We will find the cure thing I've been detecting, right? Hmm. We've been ordered to seek out the source of the energy that you claim to have been detecting. That is, in fact, our primary concern. Though we won't find anything, I assure you. The captain's only allowing this nonsense because you and he are related. What do you think we'll find anything, Quillon? The mere notion of some magical cure that will revive the Emperor and solve our worlds is absolutely absurd. The Emperor is beyond revival, and there's no form of technology or magic that could reverse that. Bah! What a silly thing hope is. It not it hinders our proper cognitive functions. Am I the only one who only one not blinded by these false hopes and foolish optimism? People merely lie to themselves because they refuse to accept the harsh truth. They need something to keep them all going. If they're going nothing real to go on, then they're going to make things up. It's pathetic. It's more pathetic than they lie to themselves so much that they actually honestly believe what is they're telling themselves. Senseless and illogical. It is! We would not find any magical cure in this world, I assure you, Mardik. You should all, all, by all means just give up now, but I know that none of you will listen to reason, so I'll hear you since I've been ordered to. You're probably just jealous because I'm the captain's. What? Does that- that does not make any slightest bit of sense. I am frankly surprised by your accusation and cannot even begin to comprehend what you think is- uh, think- thinking as such in the first place. 
I think Marika does have a point. You probably just miffed about him being going out on this mission because you weren't allowed to go on that expedition down to that swamp world to collect samples. Is that because Marika's a captain's son that he's been allowed to go? So it's because, well, like, your mission proposal was just thick. If you just brought those viral things into the ship, they probably would have infected and killed the whole crew. It was a perfectly reasonable mission. There were unique creatures designed, unlike any we have witnessed before, and studying them would have been greatly beneficial. We could have devised a way to protect ourselves against their toxins, for example. It was perfectly safe. I could have easily contained the pest specimens. They could, like, shoot acid, which, like, would burn through metal, and there's no way you could have contained them. And there was a reason that mission down the planet was a failure. Bah! That, what makes our mission less absurd, though? We are not searching for something most certainly that, that, that most certainly does not exist. Even, even if it doesn't exist, I really do think it does. It's not, and I really do think it does. It's, it's not exactly going to kill us to try, is it? <sighs> Whatever. Why don't you think, bah, 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 sorry, I'm re they're really angry. Okay, you don't need to believe me. You just need to, you just, you just have to follow me. Ha! Indeed. And this idle banter is pointless. Therefore, we need to go and get along with the mission. There's no point in standing around here any longer. Just ready your weapons to be prepared for the worst. It's always best to be prepared for more than what is expected. But first, Marta, pray tell me which direction should we head in? Uh, 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 don't know. Well, then that's just great. Let's just wander around the forest and hope for the best then, shall we? Ha ha! Um, let's go into inventory really quick. I'm probably gonna cut the episode here. But I need to split up some. Um, by the way, it's S. My my Marduk instincts told me that it was S. Hilarious. Okay. Well, that ends this episode, folks. I'll see you guys next time when we continue our quest with Marduk RPG. I mean, I mean Deliverance. Yes, uh, Deliverance. Ha 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 ha. I'll see you guys next time.